Why used mobile homes? When I started in this business, I was looking for a way to create passive income. I had already invested in notes and mortgages and loved the idea of receiving monthly checks without additional work. However, managing rental properties was becoming a hassle. So, I wondered, how can I obligate someone to send me a check each month with no tenants, management, or maintenance issues? That's when I discovered the used mobile home business. I started reading local classifieds and noticed a lack of financing options for buyers. I ran a test at offering financing and received a call from a seller whose buyer needed help. We structured a deal where the seller reduced the price, and I financed the balance. This first deal convinced me that I had found a good way to create notes. I began buying mobile homes below market value, then running ads to sell them at fair market value with financing. This approach increased profits and yields. I also learned to work with park owners managers who were willing to collaborate as long as we treated them fairly. My first ad read, private party can pay up to $5,000 for a clean, used mobile home in good condition. I bought a home for $4,000 and immediately sold it for $7,000, creating a 75% yield note. This deal showed me that creating notes can be more profitable than buying them. We continued to find homes in fair condition at reasonable prices and learned to negotiate better deals. Our buyers were willing to buy as is and make repairs if we offered affordable financing. Their biggest concerns were the down payment and monthly payments. What happens if they don't pay and we take the home back? That's often the best outcome. We resell the home and make a bigger profit. We've sold some homes multiple times, and it's rare to have to repossess. Buyers may need to move split up, or sell their home, and we often buy it back. Now, let's break down the steps. 1. Find mobile homes. 2. Negotiate purchase price. 3. Make repairs, if needed. 4. Find a buyer. 5. Negotiate sales price. 6. Structure financing. I assume you know how to use a financial calculator and understand compounding. If not, Buy an inexpensive calculator, like the HP 12C, and learn how to use it. Using a calculator makes it faster and easier, but simple math will also work. When you loan money to a friend, you damage their memory. Here is a revised version of the text that includes an explanation of the examples. Which mobile homes offer the best profits? We aim to invest in mobile homes that offer the highest returns with the least risk. Our strategy is to buy older, single-wide homes, 10-20 years old, that are 12 to 14 feet wide and 60 to 70 feet long. These homes can be purchased for $2,000 to $3,000 and sold for $4,000 to $6,000, providing a substantial profit margin. To illustrate this concept, we've provided two examples. Example 1. Buying $2 2,500 homes with a $500 down payment each. Structuring two separate notes with a 12.75% interest rate. And selling each home for $5,000. This results in a 94% yield on investment. Example 2. Buying $1 5,000 home with a $1,000 down payment. Structuring a single note with a 12.75% interest rate and selling the home for $10,000. This results in a 50% yield on investment. By comparing these examples, we can see that buying two cheaper homes yields a higher return on investment with less risk, as it requires less cash up front and results in faster compounding of returns. Our approach prioritizes getting as much money up front, keeping minimal cash in each deal and getting our money back quickly to reinvest in more lucrative opportunities. By following this strategy, we can achieve bigger returns with less risk and faster compounding of our investments. How much should you pay? Determining the right price for a mobile home requires knowledge of its potential resale value. Our rule of thumb is to sell the home for at least double our investment. To achieve this, we must first research the market to determine a fair selling price. We do this by studying comparable home sales, checking classified ads, visiting dealers and parks, meeting park owners' managers, learning local rules and regulations. Don't rely on not a books.
as they may lead to overpaying for older homes. Instead, learn your market to negotiate the best price. A quick flip. Sometimes, a situation arises where we can pay more, sell for less, and still profit. Consider the following scenario. A buyer is ready to purchase a home. We don't have a home to sell them. We find a home that fits the buyer's needs, but it costs $1,500 more than planned. In this case, we can still make a 44% profit by structuring the note correctly. Remember, you make your profit when you buy, you get paid when you sell. Test your market. To gauge demand, run an ad for a home you don't yet have, using the phrase will finance. Track the responses to determine the market price and attract potential buyers. Keep a list of interested buyers for future deals. Learning your market takes time and effort, but it's essential to succeed in mobile home investing. Start by researching parks, talking to park owners' managers, and engaging with homeowners. Ask questions, listen carefully, and learn from their experiences. In the next chapter, we'll explore finding and purchasing your first mobile home. Remember, the key is to start small and build momentum. Don't try to set the world on fire with your first deal. Just focus on getting started.